He's coming home from the hospital today. You can at least find food that he likes, not whole wheat bread, celery, and lettuce. What, what do you care what Spinelli eats? Well, if it were me, I would want, like, frozen pizza, potato chips, okay, cheese well, snacks. Okay, well, now that you and Jax are back together, maybe you should worry more about what Jax wants. Don't have to worry about that. Jax is going to be my number one priority. I know that he was worth fighting for, and he is. You know, and I came down the steps, and I saw Jax and Morgan having breakfast. It was, it was amazing. It was like having a real family, and that's all I've ever wanted. I'm glad you got it. God knows Sonny and I tried to make it work. You know, and there were times where we were happy, but... I've never felt the peace that I felt when Jax came home today. And I know that I have been self-destructive, but I don't want to live that way anymore. I love Jax. I love him so much. So, I wish Sonny all the happiness with Kate. I loathe her, and I despise her. But Jax knows she lies. He doesn't trust her anymore. So for me, Kate Howard is no longer a problem. Bye. You know, you don't have to help us out. I could take Spinelli if you want. I'm just doing my job, Maxie. Okay, Spinelli, when you get home, lots of rest, nothing strenuous. But he doesn't have to stay in bed, right? I mean, he can get up just for short periods of time. I wonder what's taking Jason so long. He was supposed to pick up Spinelli. I'm sure he'll be here. It's just inconsiderate to keep him waiting while he's not feeling good. Perhaps he's being delayed by the slob I said he'll be here. Ooh. Don't jump down Spinelli's throat just because you don't like the idea of Jason dating someone else. Truly, Max Mason didn't jump to the Jackal's defense. He receives more attention than his worthiness would indicate. Don't underestimate your worthiness. If you want to talk about Jason dating some Slavic seductress or anyone else, you shouldn't be worried about hurting someone's overly sensitive feelings. Just try being civil. Or better yet, not say anything at all. Okay, Ava, please, <laughs> ladies. Uh, oh! Finally! Uh, Jack was happy to see Stone Cold at any hour. I was just telling Spinelli that he needs rest and quiet. But he doesn't have to stay in bed. We're all set. Um, the Jack was, is grateful for all the trouble that Stone Cold has gone to. How are you going to take care of Spinelli by yourself? I'll manage. Okay. You know, the jackal laughs at pain. Usually. Who are you trying to impress, Spinelli? Good. Stone Cold scorns any reliance on pharmaceuticals. Okay. You know what? I, I have my reasons. That's me. You're you. You're, you're smart. You... You, you have a future. Why Why are you doing this? Why Why are you hanging out in alleys so you can get hit by cars? Jack O'Pia was attempting to gain vital intelligence for the master. Yeah, I'm not worth risking your life on a stakeout. You're too good for that. No. I'm a hopeless wimp, okay? Something that Stunko cannot comprehend because he is a paragon of manly okay, power. I, just, I, I, want, I want you to tell me something. Exactly what part of my life do you want? Oh, you, you can't seriously ask me. Is it the laws I've broken? Is it the jail time? Is it the people I hurt? The fact that I gotta keep everyone I care about at a distance? There is much about Stone Cold's existence. Well, like people really wanting to kill me, is that what appeals to you? Stone Cold has to look no further than right in front of I use fear and intimidation on a daily basis. I mean you don't you don't you don't even you don't even see it. You're already a better person than I am. Jekyll appreciates the, the, the master's heartening pep talk, and while he is flattered by the compliments offered, he still feels compelled to point out that he remains deficient in all facets of manly I, prowess. I lost Michael this year. I basically lost Sonny. You're one of the few remaining friends that I have left. Okay, I'm not, not going to tell you what to do, but selfishly, I don't, I don't want you to die, especially doing something stupid like surveillance. Yeah, that's a skill that I, I wish to cultivate, along with a, a greater ease and, and accuracy with firearms and, and maybe even general yeah, proficiency. There's, there's nothing manly about getting shot at or carrying a gun. Why can't you learn to trust yourself the way I trust you? What is this nourishment you bring? It's tomato soup and some crackers. Jackal's well-being is generally dependent on large quantities of orange soda and barbecue Yeah, chips. maybe you should lay off the junk for a few days. Oh, considering what the Jackal 
went through at the hands of medical personnel, poking and prodding in meals consisting of large mounds of brightly colored yet flavorless gelatin, it seems a harmless pick-me-up would do me wonders. You know, something to lift my spirits and carry me on the wings of bliss to a speedy recovery. And could you be really careful with this stuff? It's my hair products. Hi. What an unexpected surprise. Uh, what, what is this? Why, why all these bags? Well, someone has to stay here to take care of Spinelli. 